Hey, this is Steve from Flowmaster. Today I'm happy to introduce our new Delta Force cooler intake for the 2015 and newer Ford Mustang equipped with a 2.3 liter four cylinder turbocharged motor. And these new Delta Force cooler intakes have a black powder coated heat shield, reinforced silicone couplers, all stainless steel hardware, anodized fitting, and all systems feature an ultra trick looking durable cross link polyethylene intake tube with a nice Flowmaster logo right in the center. Along with the large high flow conical shaped filter, it's an eight layer cotton gauze air filter ensuring that it will trap more dust and dirt particles than your typical six layer filter. Now this is 100% direct bolt onto the vehicle and it's backed up by a lifetime limited warranty protecting your investment and giving you peace of mind. Now the tools for the job are a pair of pliers, 13 millimeter socket, 7 16 wrench, a ratchet, 7 millimeter nut driver, 5 16 nut driver, 10 millimeter nut driver, and a 13 16 wrench. All Flowmaster products are dyno tuned during the development phases for maximum power gains and efficiency. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get installed in this Mustang here. Okay, we're in the shop today. We have a 2017 Ford Mustang equipped with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost turbocharged motor. We're going to get this old intake system off. We're going to go ahead and assemble and put on the new Delta Force cooler intake. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp at the turbo. Then we're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp here at the air box. We're going to go ahead and remove the two breather hoses. And then we're going to go ahead and disconnect the sensor. Remove the one bolt here that's holding the air box on. And then we'll remove the air box as one unit. And we'll remove the tube as one unit. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp down here at the turbo. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove this clamp here. And go ahead and pull this hose off. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and remove the other breather hose. It's got this little gray spring tab right here. Just going to have to spring the tab back and then pull straight up. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp that's going to the air box here for the intake tube. Now we'll go ahead and pull this off the air box. Now next we're going to go ahead and pull the tube off the turbo. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and disconnect the sensor. You're just going to just push the tab in. Now will disconnect. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the sensor. You're going to have to just kind of pull up on this little tab right here and then go counterclockwise. Okay, and then just pull right out. Okay, next we got the one bolt right here. It's holding down the stock air box. Next, we're going to go ahead and just pull the air box assembly straight up. All right, we have our old air box system out of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and reuse one part, which is going to be the factory sensor here. We're going to go ahead and set this aside. We're going to go ahead and assemble the new Delta Force cooler intake. So first, we're going to start off with the heat shield here. We're going to go ahead and put on the air filter adapter. And this is going to go on the inside of the heat shield. And then on the back side here, we're going to line up the three holes. And with the supplied hardware, we're going to go ahead and bolt it down. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put on one of the mounting brackets. We're going to start with this little one first. It's going to go on the inside of the heat shield. And then with the supplied hardware, we're going to go ahead and put the bolt through the bracket and through the heat shield. And on the back side here, we're going to go ahead and put on a flat washer a lock washer and then the nut. Now we're going to go ahead and leave this loose so we can go ahead and put on the heat shield gasket. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put on the other bracket. Now this is going to go on the back side of the heat shield. <clears throat> it's going to go like so. And it'll have a little step down. So with the supplied hardware, we're going to go ahead and put the bolt through the bracket, through the heat shield. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put on the flat washer, the lock washer, and then the nut. Again, we're going to go ahead and leave this loose. And you want to allow for some adjustment once it's in the vehicle and also to help put on the heat chill gasket. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put on the heat chill gasket. Now this may come in excess length, so you may need to trim it to fit your heat chill. We're going to go ahead and start here in the bottom. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put some parts on the intake tube. First one we're gonna start off with is the anodized fitting. We'll make sure you put some Teflon tape on your threads and go ahead and install it. Okay. 
Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and install the grommet for the sensor. It's gonna go down here by the logo. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and install the sensor. First, we're gonna go ahead and remove the factory little O-ring right here. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and install it into the grommet. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and install the reinforced silicone coupler. This is gonna go down here by the sensor side. We're gonna go ahead and just snug it up. You wanna leave it loose so you allow for some adjustment once it's in the vehicle. Okay. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and install the other reinforced silicone coupler. This can go down here by the anodized fitting. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and just snug it up. Okay. Okay, next we're ready to go ahead and install the new heat shield. All right, one of the factory mounting points for the new heat shield is gonna be down here by the lower radiator hose. And the other bracket gonna bolt to the factory air box mount, which is gonna be up here. Now with the new supplied hardware, we're gonna go ahead and bolt it down. Now we're gonna leave that loose. Other bracket, that factory hole, we're gonna go ahead and put this new supply bolt, the flat washer and a lock washer, and it'll go through the bracket and into that hole. Now we'll go ahead and tighten down this lower bracket first. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and final tighten down this bracket to the vehicle. Okay, now that we've got the heat shield mounting brackets secured onto the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and final tighten down the brackets to the heat shield itself. So we'll go ahead and start with the top one here. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the new intake tube. I think we're going to try to put it on the turbo side first. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put it on the air filter adapter. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and tighten down this clamp to the heat shield. You want to make sure the reinforced silicone coupler is pushed up against the heat shield. Go ahead and tighten it down. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp to the turbo. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and connect one of the breather hoses to the new intake tube. This is going to be the hard plastic line that's got the quick release spring right here. And this is going to go on the anodized fitting. Now you want to make sure your intake tube is properly rotated or this thing will not line up. Now you should be able to hear it snap into place. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and connect the other breather hose going right here. All right. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and tighten down the other clamp. This is the intake to the silicone coupler. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and tighten down the clamp here to the intake tube. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and reconnect the sensor. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install the new air filter. And then we'll go ahead and tighten down the clamp. Okay. Okay, that concludes the installation here on our new Delta Force cooler intake for the 2015 and newer Ford Mustang equipped with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost motor. Now this was an easy installation, only took about 30 to 40 minutes. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our Flowmaster YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.